waste of time. I can't believe you made us leave the gym after only 20 minutes. According to this, I've only burnt 60 calories. The average space walk takes 2,000. Yeah, well, I didn't like all the attention that Sophie was getting from that young guy. I thought it was best that we left. That was Jeff, our personal trainer. <gasps> Jeff? Yeah? Well, he was getting way too personal, if you ask me. I thought you really fancied him. Oh, great. So I fail my NASA training because you got jealous over a boy. Look, I'm the oldest. You just do as I say. Treat me like a little kid, why don't you? <gasps> Look at me, I'm a mess. I needed more time to dry my hair. It was meant to be a workout, not a fashion parade. I can't help it if I'm naturally glamorous. <laughs> Please, your gym bag looks more like a cosmetics counter. There won't be a next time. That's the last time I go to the gym with you two. Ditto. Yeah, ditto. Whatever that means. What do you want? OK, sensing a little tension here. Maybe now isn't the best time to tell you that Brian has decided to become a superhero. He has recruited a sidekick called CJ, who is now showing around the Brian Cave, previously known as the Attic. What? But you're Super Brian's sidekick. He wouldn't give me the job because he said I was too weak. I don't believe this. So I've just been to the gym so that my alien foster mother can train to be a superhero sidekick. Who's CJ? Oh, he's a nice kid about so high. Probably about seven or eight years old. And my guess is right now he's finding out Brian is really an alien. Game's up. Time to pack your bags for the children's home. CJ, behind every successful superhero, there's a well-oiled marketing machine. I mean, look what happened to Banana Man. Who's Banana Man? Exactly. I hope you don't mind wearing Josh's costume. It's great. And the Brimer Bill's fantastic. <laughs> Who is it? It's me, Mel. Let me in. What's the secret password? Open the door, I'll break your legs. Um, close enough. <laughs> You must be CJ. I'm Mel. Pleased to meet you. Well, it's been very nice having you over to play superheroes with Brian, but I really think we should be getting you back to your parents now, shouldn't we, Brian? No, it's OK. There's no rush. CJ's from the children's home. He's like you. He doesn't have parents. I've asked him to stay on as my sidekick on a full-time basis. Super Brian said I can live here with you. Well, that's just great, but unfortunately, we don't have the room. I'll sleep here in the Brian cave. I don't think social services will be too happy about you sleeping in a cave now. Super Brian will just have to manage on his own. But Mel, this is a 24-hour operation. I need someone to cover the night shift. I'll call the children's home. They can send someone to pick you up. Please, Super Brian, don't let her do it. You can stop her. You're right. I can stop her. I'm in charge. <laughs> but you know, she does have a point. It can get quite chilly in here at night. <laughs> If you picked me to be your sidekick, none of this would ever have happened. Sidekick? With that much makeup, you could be a circus clown. <laughs> if your brain was as big as your mouth, why don't you just shut your face? Why don't I not? Can you not stop arguing for one second? See, that wasn't so difficult. Please don't stop. I love it when you argue. It's just like a real family. It's that you've got a superhero for, Dad. <laughs> CJ, Brian is just a normal person. There's nothing special or super about him. But I've seen Super Brian's special powers. CJ, how exactly did Brian save you from being run over? I fell in front of a bus, and just as it was about to hit me, Super Brian appeared and... Morphed into a giant eagle, that's right. And I swooped down and rescued him from the jaws of certain death. Or rather, number 37, Double Decker. <laughs> well, whoopee-doo for Super Brian. He can morph. Huh. So what? I'm an alien and I can morph too. You're both alien superheroes from another planet. Uh. <laughs> She's just joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a kidder. <laughs> Aliens don't live in nice houses like this. <laughs> they get locked away and people do horrible experiments on them. You must have just bumped your head and thought you saw Brian turn into an eagle. I'm only eight, but I'm not stupid. I promise I won't tell if you let me stay for one night. Tell what? There's nothing to tell. Oh, really? Well, let's see what Mrs. Reese says about you living with aliens when she gets here. 
Right, grab him, tie him up, stick him under the sink. So you are I knew it. Well done, Sophie. All I want is to be part of family for one day. Please. And you promise you won't tell anyone? And reveal Super Brian's secret identity as Mr. Johnson? Never. Oh, OK, I'll call Mrs. Reese and see what I can do. Yes, to the Brian mobile, CJ. We've got 24 hours to clean up this town. What happened to you? Someone stole a bride mobile from outside the diner. I tried to stop them. Must have been quite a fight. Well, it might have been if I hadn't tripped over my cape on the way out. And now do you believe Evan got special powers? But he is a real superhero. He fights for justice with the sword of truth and shield of honour. The sword of truth? Sounded good at the time. And I think you better stop reading those comics before you do any more damage. Oh, don't worry about that. I sold them all to the comic store in the high street. Good. <laughs> Hang on. You sold them? Brian, tell me you didn't. No, Brian. I needed the money to buy the Brian mobile. You fool, Brian! You super fool! Oh, CJ, who am I kidding? I'm a failure as a superhero and a parent. And that's not going to look good at job interviews. I'd give anything for you to my dad. You're cool. Super cool. Thanks, CJ. But I don't think Josh would agree with you. He's just upset about his comics. I'm sure he loves you, really. He never shows it. He's a boy. We're not really into that whole hugs and kisses thing. A hug once in a while would be nice. <laughs> oh, CJ. It's good to know someone cares. So you hugging me, does that mean you're a big girl? Back to the top bunk. Great. So, first Brian sells my comics, then he turns my bedroom into a crash. My dad left those comics to me. If anyone was going to sell them and pocket the cash, it should have been me. <laughs> well, it's not the money. It's the... What? Nothing. I know what you mean. This was my dad's. It's not worth much, but just knowing it was the one he wore means a lot. Well, you better make sure Brian doesn't sell it to buy a new cape. <laughs> I see you've got World Cup soccer field games machine. Fancy a tournament? I like to be Brazil. Please. I could beat you if I was Luxembourg and playing one-handed. I am the champion at the children's home. OK, now you're talking. Let the games begin. You know, I could get used to this. For a weekend, not permanently, obviously. Obviously. Where are you going? I'll be back. There are just a couple of things I've got to do. What are you doing? Improving on nature. <laughs> Looks fun. Can I have a go? She looks kind of scary. Scary and mean. Older sisters can be like that. Don't you like her? Well, yeah, of course I like her. I have to. It's kind of a rule. I just don't like her when she's bossing me around. Yeah. The big kids love doing that. Especially when they're scared. Scared? You think Mel's scared of me? Seems that way to me. Maybe it's because you're so brainy. You think Mel's intimidated by my superior intellect? You think that's why she treats me like a little kid? Wow, you work things out fast. That's why she's always calling me a geek. She's just jealous. Luz, you're not a geek. Well, you're not a geek geek. You're a cool geek. That's a big difference. Finally, someone who understands me. <laughs> So you think Lucy really looks up to me? Who wouldn't? You're so cool and trendy. Maybe that's why she argues with me so much. Maybe she secretly wants to be like me, but just doesn't want to admit it. Maybe. <laughs> she thinks I'm one of the cool kids. Mel, you're not one of the cool kids. You're the cool kid. Uh, finally, someone who understands me. <laughs> of course. Mel and Lucy argue with me because deep down I make them feel plain and ugly. Well, you are very glamorous. And you do just like a movie star. <laughs> you should be on magazines and talk shows. You're wasted here. Finally, someone who understands me. <laughs> Hang on. You're just being nice so I won't be angry or Super Brian's sidekick instead of me. No. I think you're great. 
You're the kind of mum every child in children's home dreams of having. <gasps> really? Oh, yeah, I mean, you make a great psychic, too. <laughs> but I want you to be my mum. If I had that choice, obviously. I suppose being a mum is better than being a superhero sidekick. Hadn't really thought about it like that. Oh, thanks, CJ. You're welcome. <laughs>